Hi, I'm Treese, aka the Amateur Barkeep, and tonight I'm joined with Man, and tonight we're cracking this Eric Church Single Barrel Jack Daniels. Nice. All right, uh, Amateur Barkeep, I gotta, I'm going to call you by your new tag now, so y'all definitely got to check out the Amateur Barkeep, um, and we'll talk more about that as we go sure. on. Sure. I know that you are a Jack Daniels girl. Yes. And there's been a lot of craze. Let me show y'all. There's some artwork around there. Um, Eric Church is a country music singer, songwriter, um, and the crazy part about, uh, well, not crazy, but it's so different from what you traditionally hear mm -hmm. in the fact that Eric is not a paid um, ambassador for Eric. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he may be on the, under the table kind of okay. deal. Right. But like he originally, he's been a Jack Daniels drinker. Um, I think that they say when he goes on stage, he pulls out a bottle of Jack Daniels. And that's just like a part of his, his persona his of who thing, he is. Yeah. So he's always had a long history with Jack Daniels, and he just kind of reached out and said, "Hey, let's 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 do a collab." And because of that history, boom, you get the Eric Church edition. Okay. Um, have you ever tried any single barrel? No. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, now this one, I don't know the price. Okay. <laughs> I want to say it was like fifty bucks, sixty bucks, somewhere in the neighborhood, but okay. I put the price down below. Okay. But I'm hearing that these are going for, like, stupid prices right now. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I tried a few months ago to try and find that, and I, I couldn't. Yeah. No. I heard these were going for, like, three, four, five hundred dollars All right. But we're going to open it. We're going to open it. We gonna All open right. It. We, I mean, we could get that much for it, but now nah, we're going to yeah. open it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and crack it open. Single barrel just means that they actually select one barrel. Um, and I think that the single barrel for Jack Daniel comes from the top of the rick house. So like there's different layers. Okay. So I think this is a top bottle. So um, I don't really know what to expect. I haven't had Jack Daniels in oh so long. <laughs> um, so what can I expect from Jack Daniels? Um, I'm trying to think of more descriptive words outside of tasty and yummy. Okay. <laughs> I, I, now, Jack Daniels, Jack Daniels is really like, um, Joan says, it's the Walmart of whiskey. It's very safe for sure. It's very but I safe. Like safe. Safe, it's, okay. Every bar you go into, if they have whiskey, they're going to have Jack Daniels. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're in like a like a, a, a scotch bar or something like that. They're, okay. they're going to have Jack Daniels. This is 47 proof. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, 94 proof. Um, so, it's got a little bit more kick than yeah. your regular Jack Daniels. Nice cork. I love the way the bottle shape. I love the black design. Yeah, it's really dope. So we're like gonna do that. house rules. I'm gonna go ahead and pour you one. All right. So this is very familiar to you. I'm gonna pour yeah. me one. As a matter of fact, I like to order my um, whiskey sours. That's gotta be my favorite drink. But I'll ask specifically for Jack Daniels. Okay. Um, color. I mean, it's a it's a really nice color. Mm -hmm, that's pretty. Uh, it has some legs on it. Mm -hmm. If you spin it around and then. At first, I thought oh. it looked kind of thin pouring out of the bottle. Really? Okay. Yeah. But it's got some legs on there. You see some tears. It's a uh, thick. Yeah. It's kind of thick. Let's, yeah. let's, um, let's um, give it a sniff first. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Now, I got uh, barrel aging, some oak in there. I don't remember Jack smelling that way. I don't either. Okay. Uh -huh. Um... And the wood is all I get, truthfully. Yeah, all like I smell I is whiskey. That's yeah. it. I can't get any other notes. I don't get any vanilla, caramel. Really just wood. Really, really just okay. wood. Um, hold on. Yeah, I don't, I don't get anything but wood. Some people say they get like some citrus or... Hmm. Okay, let me try and find citrus. Yeah, I don't. I just get wood. Just wood. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm stopped up. But yeah. let's, uh, let's, just give them, let's give it a taste. Ooh, that was nice. That's really nice, right? I'm hang of that. Okay. Initial thoughts? Woo. <laughs> oh, oh, woo. Oh, I tell you, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, mm. It's 
got a little kick to it for sure. Yeah, yeah it's uh. So typical Jack Daniels is what eighty proof? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a step up from that for okay. sure. Okay. Uh, anything else? Mm. I pulled me a lot of Jack Daniels here, but. Oh, it's just strong. Mm. I just take the, taste the alcohol. Yeah. Um, I, I got a lot of wood. Um, maybe you know Jack. When I think Jack, I normally think sweet. Um, yeah, that's Jack sweetness is a little that you sweet. get on Jack. Yeah, I get like a like a hint of that. Mm -hmm. But then there's there's this added heat and pepper that you get kind of on the back of your throat on the yeah. end of the palate kind of deal. Mm -hmm. So it, to me, it's it's a it's a it's a much different pour than your traditional Jack Daniels. Definitely. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, let's let's put it on the rocks. Let's give it a okay. good spin. Check it out, my uh, prestige decanter glasses. Very there. nice. What do you think? You think about them? These, I like those. You know I love cool glasses. Yeah. yeah. Got a little stuff. And then you know when you get drunk and you, and you sit hey. on the side, you you good. You still okay. straight. I, yeah. I like that. <laughs> it, it leans with you. Adaptability. The adaptability. All right, hold on. I see. I, I still smell the alcohol. Yeah, the alcohol is a little more pronounced now. Yeah. All right, let's click them and drink them. Okay. Give them a good taste. Mmm. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Mmm. <laughs> Um, I think, well, I'll let you start. Ladies first, ladies first. It felt like an, like an even stronger kick than neat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, definitely less smooth. Neat is, it's got that kick, but it's still a little smooth. It kind of stays with you, but it's not unpleasant. Uh, but on the rocks, it's, mm. Well, you know, I kind of feel like, on the rocks tapers down the heat a tad really? bit. Okay. But there is um and here's the term I'm gonna use. Aspartame. Like if you've ever had artificial sweetener. Oh, I'm not getting aspartame. Mm -mm. I, I don't get it. I get a little like artificial sweetener kind of uh, aftertaste mm -hmm. kind of deal. Uh, the heat is still there. Yeah. It, it, didn't, it didn't go away at all, but I'm, I guess I feel like it's tapered it down because I can taste that other, that aspartame kind of taste. No, I don't get like artificial flavoring at all. Yeah. It really, to me, it also gets dry. It does. Mm -hmm. Which, it, which is weird. Like this was um, lubricating. Mm-hmm. And this on the rocks is dry. Very. That's yeah, weird. It is. It's very dry for sure. So um, we we we're definitely gonna have to rate this. We're gonna have to okay. rate. It. We're gonna say what we wait rate. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pour mine into uh my on the rocks pour. Okay. Uh, or you can pour your uh, on whichever way you want to go. But I need we need a clean glass. Okay. Um, because I haven't had Jack Daniels single barrel select before. So I bought a small Jack Daniels single barrel select. Cause I feel like, you know, we should we should definitely I thought for a second that there might be a difference between this and it says specially blended for Eric Church. Okay. Um so I want to see if there's a little bit of a difference in the recipe. Okay. I kind of feel like there's not. Okay. But you know, for the sake of research, kind okay. of deal. Well, but while I'm doing this, completely do that. Yeah, let's talk about um, rating. Right now, today, you're a Jack girl. You drink Jack on the regular. Um, scale of one to five. Five being this is my new favorite. One being we should probably push this pretty bottle off the table. Okay. Um, where does Jack Daniel's Eric Church Edition stand in your book? I will give it a three. Okay, a three. Yeah. Like, it's okay. You know, I can see myself sipping on it for sure. Um, but will I reach for it first over other whiskeys? No. Yeah. So this um, this pint was 27 bucks. Okay. Ooh. Um, Pretty bottle, though. It's gorgeous. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to say this is probably closer in the 60 range. Mm -hmm, 50, 58, 59, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, 
So let's let's give it let's give it a good. <laughs> Smells a little bit different. Yeah, a little but bit. very familiar. Yeah. Interesting. What do you think? Very interesting. Um, hmm. So, it's doing a couple of different things. So, for one, it's it's got a kick. Mm -hmm. And initially, it felt like the kick was a little stronger than the Eric Church Eric Church version. Um, but it kind of dissipated. And so, now it's a lot smoother as it goes down. And it's more pleasant. But I'm getting more of a peppery. Yeah. So and, um, I, I took that, I perceived that as this was softer than the Aaron Church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it did have a pretty strong kick initially. Yeah, I mean, they're both, it's, it's, it's a 94 proof. So they're both 90, mm, yeah, they're okay. both 94 proof. Okay. Um, is that right, 94? Yeah, 94 proof. Um, but this felt softer. It really yeah. did. Um, and it didn't it didn't last as long, uh -huh. and it just kind of danced around around the tongue a little bit. So I don't know, maybe there is, but you know, it's single barrel, mm -hmm. so each barrel is different. We could get another bottle of this, and there's a possibility that that tastes different. Really? This is um, bottled on one thir I mean eleven thirteen twenty. So at the end of twenty twenty, this was bottled in seven twenty three twenty. So. It could be just a matter of months in the difference in, in flavor profile. Honestly, I prefer this one to the too. Aaron Church. Yeah, me too. Um, but that, that's just, that is the, the gift and the curse yeah. of single barrels. Mm, okay. So let me rate it. Um, I would okay. say that this is very different than your traditional Jack, Jack, Jack Daniels. The sweet... Jack Daniels that you're used to, this is not it. This is this is no, this has got this brings the heat, is brings some spiciness to it. Um, I don't get a I mean, maybe my palate's young. I don't get a ton of complexity. I get more yeah. complexity in this one than I did in my actual very church. Yeah. Um so I like the bottle. I don't listen to country music like that. I think yeah, a little not tennis too whiskey, much. but yeah. um I don't. I couldn't tell you an Eric Church song. Mm -hmm. So I mean, for me, I, I probably wouldn't spend the money to get the extra bottle unless I was trying to flip it and kind of resell yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, at sixty bucks, I start thinking mm -hmm. about all the things that I would probably drink in the place of it. Yeah. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a three also okay. because it's not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, I might give it. A, okay. I might give it a three point five considering that it's a Jack Daniels whiskey because it's yeah. such. To me, it's such an uptick from the traditional Jack the traditional Daniels. Traditional Jack. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not a new favorite for me at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we got. I gotta find some. Like I realized, like I pulled a lot. I pulled a lot, uh, and we got another episode to okay. shoot. So I don't know if I'm gonna down this at the end, uh -huh. or I'm going to coke it up, or what. Mm. So mm. we mentioned coke sounds great. Uh, yeah, I, I only got Pepsi though. That's all right. Okay, we'll make it work. Um, so we mentioned at the beginning um, that you got a new AKA that you go by. Yes. Not AKA Ski Week, but AKA uh, <laughs> otherwise known as. Yes. So um. You wanna? I put you on the spot. Do you wanna tell okay. us a little bit about what you what you what you got planned? Okay, so I started my uh, Instagram, and it's at Amateur Barkeep, and it was started just based off of my newfound love of mixology and the art that is alcohol. And so that's, I kind of—that's me saying I'm rubbing <laughs> off on it. I'm rubbing off on it. <laughs> but you know, I kind of let it go away for a little bit and kind of left it out in the open. But now I've just got this new air about me, and I'm really feeling my groove. And so you know, I just posted my first video a few days ago, and I'm really excited about it. It's very organic, mm -hmm. and um, I'm just really excited about where I can see it going because I just genuinely love. The art that is alcohol yeah. and it's just a, a really good vibe you know I it's other people that are into mixology and and making cocktails and it's just you know but they're not doing it like you 
Yeah. Yeah, they're not doing it like you. If so quirky is a thing, yes. yes. <laughs> um, so uh, you focus on the cocktail side. I'll just give you a little, little, little hit. Sure. Um, you're not. You're gonna venture into YouTube, or you're gonna stick with um, for right now Insta. I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm gonna try and keep riding this wave, you know, while I feel all right, and um, probably start a YouTube page. And, okay, okay. You know, I genuinely love it, so we'll see where it goes. Okay. But okay. Well, um, we'll definitely keep you in mind. Uh, make sure that you check out on Insta only right now. Yes. Amateur Barkey. Yep. Um, as always, it's always a pleasure. I want you to give it a little. Okay. little this is the regular right here. Just give it a nice little little swigger, swigger. Oof. It's that initial kick, but it doesn't stay very See, long. To me, it got better the second time around. Really? Yeah, it did. It got better. It, it got better. felt like the kick was... Taking karate class, yeah, it's doing its thing. I, I mean, I, I might, I might upgrade mine to three point five on this because the more I sip this, the more I enjoy it. Uh, really? Especially okay. now, like now that I've gone back to it after sitting on the rock for yeah. a while, um, it's actually a little, it's actually, it's actually better. Okay, it's actually better. Um, but definitely follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Jones and Man, and you're on the TikTok. Um, if you are in need of some f fabulous spirits. Check out cwspirits.com forward slash Jones and Man. Support your boy Man and Jones. Jones is not here right now, but support your man, Man and Jones in between them. Um, but this is the Eric Church edition, and this is the amateur bar key. Clink them and drink them. Hey. We'll see you next time. <laughs>